Yo, what's going on guys? So we finally got it and just know my wallet is crying right now. They just added a hundred dollar camo into the game. Yes. And to make it even worse, I had to spend double. You what? Cheetah print, the most expensive camo we have ever seen. You may already know about this and wonder why I didn't have it soon. And let me get into that. This is a limited time promotion. And in order to get this camo, you have to spend over a hundred dollars over on the Call of Duty merchandise store. And you know me, I love my camo immediately as soon as I found out about this I rushed to the store bought a hundred dollars worth of items got it shipped straight away later to find out that in the fine print of the promotion it says US only in not, in not, in. and if you don't know I'm from the UK however even though I'm in the UK if we go over to events I managed to get it here we go cheetah print oh nah you might be thinking if it's US only how did you get it I hit up someone that I know from the US, bought them some stuff off of the store and got them to send me the code once they got it. Meaning I had to spend another $100. So all in all, in order to get this camo, I personally had to spend over $200. But it does mean I'm probably the only person in the UK with this camo. I don't know if that's an achievement or not. No. Nope. So as we load into a game to check out this camo my operator is holding, I never ask for likes, but can we get 4,000 likes on this video? I'm in pain. And subscribe to that would be nice. Oh, okay. It's actually kind of shiny too. Just so you know, there might be a slight amount of copium in this video. Either way, it actually does look really clean, but what I like most about it is probably the fact that it's so rare. I also know that most likely I will never run into anyone with this camo, not just because it's so rare, but more so because it's not available in the UK. If you're on the US servers, I'm sure you will probably run into people using it. Still very rarely though. There's not many people who would like to spend a hundred dollars on the game but i highly doubt i will run into anyone using this so if you can't tell already this is actually a mastery camo from advanced warfare <laughs> which is kind of a pattern that we've seen recently. They kind of did a similar thing with the Royalty Tiger camo, the pink and gold one that they made you buy an $80 bag off of the Call of Duty merchandise store as well. This time they thought it would up it just a little bit to $100. But even that one was a mastery camo from Advanced Warfare. And I believe this one is too. So maybe in the future, I don't know how many more mastery camos there were in Advanced Warfare, but we could see more. This could be a pattern. I was going to say I wouldn't be mad at it, but if they do it the same way then i probably will come here buddy there we go also you may have already seen some people with the camo and you might be thinking yo brad why didn't you get it straight away first of all you already know the struggles i went through but even when i got the person i know from the us to get it for me we did it on the day one of this promotion starting. Just for some reason, the way they sent the codes out to everybody's email once you spent the $100 was so weird. They didn't just send it out as soon as you bought whatever you got. They sent the codes out as soon as your package or whatever you ordered started shipping. And I assume the reason they did that was so that the codes didn't get sent out before people could refund it. Because if that was the case, people could just, you know, spend $100, get the code and then refund everything they bought. So they probably just did that to cover themselves. But the problem is whatever we ordered took so long to ship, meaning we didn't get the code for so long. Trust me, you guys know how much I love camos. I was... No, 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 no. I was one off in advance. It was funny because I was getting so many comments from people saying, yo, Brad, where's your video on this camo? I was trying, honestly. So I'm just going to be happy with the fact I'm probably the only person in the UK with this. Or one of the only people. I'm sure some people did the same thing as me. I'm not going to lie though. It probably should have been a lot more clear that it was only a US promotion. It was literally in the fine print saying US only. I really like the look of this though. It's extremely clean. It would have been cool if it was animated. But of course, then it wouldn't be the same as the Advanced Warfare version, right? So I guess that wouldn't make sense. And also, I guess the way they are going to treat this is this is a reward for you spending a certain amount on the Call of Duty store, not to incentivize you to spend $100. So technically, you're not spending $100 on this camo. You're actually just spending $100 on the website to get whatever you want. And this is just a bonus. But realistically, at least with the people I know, everybody is spending $100 for this camo, not what you can get on the store. This one's up here. Oh, yeah. If I had to fight me, I oh, too. nah. Oh. 
go. The snipers on this map are ridiculous. I want to get this advantage UAV so bad. I didn't get the advantage UAV again. And of course, you can put it on the Modern Warfare 2 weapons as well. This is the intervention. Actually, this is really nice. I'm not going to lie. I know people will hate it because it is a $100 camo, let's be honest. I know technically it's not worth $100, but I do like the look of it. And I do like how rare it is too. This is by far the rarest camo in the game right now. And by the way, I'm not trying to convince any of you guys to get this. Of course, if you want to buy it, then of course you can. If you're from the US, remember that. Don't make the mistake. I did. Oh no. No, but it's really up to whoever wants it. I've even seen some people that have got it and are getting a lot of hate for buying it. I don't think you should really judge what people are getting. I'll be honest. And also here's the other one. The past one that we've had. This is the Royalty Tiger one. Pink and gold. This one looks really nice too. Oh, let me clap. No, no, no. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh. More. Obviously, I don't think this is worth $100. And it has me thinking because recently there's been quite a few expensive rewards. None of them have really been, yo, spend this amount of money and get this and this only. They've all been kind of framed as, okay, spend this amount of money on this or buy this amount of bundles and you'll get this as a perk. But yeah, it has me thinking, what would be worth $100? Would you guys ever... Another one. And it's the same guy. Would you guys ever spend $100 on something in game? And if you would, let's say it's a camo. What does the camo have to do? I assume most people would just say, yeah, there's not a camo in the game that would be worth spending $100 on. That makes sense. But if they were to make a camo for $100, you would think that it would be something like maybe Black Ops 4 Dark Matter. You know, it has a Dark Matter camo, but it's also reactive. So the kills that you get change the color of it. That would be cool. And of course, still, it's not worth $100, but I probably would be a little happier. Well, duh. Oh yeah, and I will say, I've never been the guy that says solid camos are better than animated camos. And of course, I always prefer animated camos. And I always say, I find it a little weird that some people prefer solid camos huh? to an... He just ran right past me. What the hell was that? There's a community of people that like solid camos. And by the way, solid camos are camos that don't move like this one. Some people like those more than animated camos. And I've never been that guy, but I will say I kind of get it to a certain extent because sometimes what I've noticed with animated camos is I will love them at the start, right? I will love them. I will love the fact that they're animated, all of that different stuff. But after a certain amount of time, sometimes not with all of them, but they start to feel a little tacky to me. I don't know if that's just me, but I start just to find them a little ugly at times. Not with all of them. Again, most of them I love, but some of them for sure, I just like at the start because they're animated and that's about it. And then after that wears off, I'm kind of like, eh, this is kind of ugly. And the thing is with a nice solid camo, I don't get that feeling. And I think with this, I will always like the look of this just because it's clean. I don't think I would ever get bored of this. I much prefer this being solid than it having that weird just wallpaper effect sliding around the gun. The lazy animations. I hate those. So yeah, sometimes solid camos are better than animated camos. It depends how much time they put into the animated ones. Hit marker. No, no, no. That's not time for a hit marker. Peek me. You climb up here, right? No, he looked there. Who just randomly looks at that window? What the flip was that? I do have a quick question. So of course we had this Royalty Tiger camo that was a reward for getting the bag, the $80 bag. Then we recently had the Beast Glove, which is a blueprint for buying four or all four of the Kong versus Godzilla bundles. And now we've got this for spending $100 on the store. I've got a question. How do you guys feel about that? Because as I said earlier, they can technically just say they are giving this to the people that would have already done those things anyway. So 
So for example, I'm sure a bunch of people would have bought all of those Kong versus Godzilla bundles. So what they will say is the Beast Glove is just a thank you for that. Also, the $80 bag is not like if you go onto the Call of Duty store, you can just see Royalty Tiger Camo $80. No, they will say it's for people that buy the bag. Here's the camo as a reward and a thank you. And then with this $100 camo, taking it a step further, they will just say again, oh, you spent $100 on the website. Thank you. Here's your reward. Rather than just putting this camo on the store and saying, yo, here it is, $100. It's slightly different. It's all the same thing really for most people. However, I'm sure some people actually spend money on that Call of Duty merchandise store. So there will be some people that spent $100 on the store and then actually got this as a thank you. Didn't even think about it. They are the ones that will be a lot happier. However, the people that don't buy anything off of the Call of Duty merchandise store, but just wanted the camo, they're the people that will be a little bit more upset. It's a weird one. And there's also another side to it, which is you really don't have to get any of them. None of these things really get you any benefits in the game. So what can you really be mad at? I don't know. All I know is if anyone can be mad, first of all, it's us in the UK or anywhere else in the world other than the US. If you really wanted this camo and you don't know anyone in the US like I do, it's unfortunate. I don't know why they would just limit this to the US. It's kind of annoying. And then another person who can be mad is me. I spent double. Anyway, that's enough Modern Warfare 3 for me today. Wait, I've just realized I've been saying Advanced Warfare this entire time. It was World War 2, right? Oh, there we go. I know I'm going to get a bunch of comments about that too. Before I let you guys go, I want to give a huge shout out to Boohoo, man. You guys can go check out all the clothing using the link in the description. There's a bunch of really nice stuff on there and my code brothers will get you an extra discount at checkout. So go make use of that. And yeah, I finally got it, man. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.